Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Dave Bryan. The 2022 NFL Draft is about to get underway soon in Las Vegas, and with that, I thought I would quickly review what I believe to be some of the draft class favorites of the fans when it comes to this year specifically. Now, I'm not touching the quarterbacks in this year's draft class because the fan base seems to be widely split when it comes to a favorite one. On top of that, there's a good section of the Steelers fan base that hopes the team fails to draft any quarterbacks at all in these three days. So, let's look at some non-quarterbacks. On the surface, Steeler fans seem to be hoping that the team winds up with a gift of Georgia defensive tackle Jordan Davis at 20th overall. While there will be some who will question Davis' ability to rush the passer on third down, it's important to realize that the behemoth defensive lineman was instrumental in getting Georgia to third down in the first place and often in a light box to boot. Moving past Davis, I think there are at least two more draft hopeful players that Steeter fans are really hoping to be picked by the team these next few days. One of those players must be Western Michigan wide receiver Sky Moore, who played his high school football in Pittsburgh at Shadyside Academy and who was in the same class as Dino Tomlin, the son of Steeders head coach Mike Tomlin. The Steeders certainly could use another slot receiver that's good after the catch, so the slightly undersized Moore very much could be in play if still on the board in the second round. Another player most Steeler fans are likely heavily rooting for to be picked by Pittsburgh this year must be Michigan State fullback, H-back, special teamer, Connor Hayward, who is obviously the younger brother of Steeler's defensive tackle, Cameron Hayward. The younger Hayward, if drafted, figures to be picked in the 6th or 7th round. UCLA safety Quentin Lake is yet another late-round prospect that I bet several Steeler fans are rooting for to be drafted by the team on Saturday. He is obviously the son of Steeders legendary safety Carnell Lake. With the fan favorites now out of the way, please allow me to rattle off my short list of favorite players in this year's draft class. That group of players includes wide receiver Devin Tompkins of Utah State, SMU wide receiver Danny Gray, South Dakota State running back Pierre Strong Jr., small school edge rushers D'Angelo Malone and Jeffrey Gunter of Western Kentucky and Coastal Carolina, respectively, Nevada tight end Cole Turner, and kicker punter Matt Areza out of San Diego State. Now, that list of seven players is just a global list overall. There is, however, that tiny chance maybe one or two of them land with the Steelers in a draft. These seven players are ones that I really enjoyed studying these last several months and ones that I believe could wind up being stars in the NFL. So, there you go. In closing, I would like to thank the Steelers Depot crew for their tireless work this offseason when it comes to helping us all prepare for the 2022 NFL Draft. It's been an amazing offseason for the site to date, and we can't wait to move forward with our coverage and breakdowns of the Steelers' 2022 draft class and undrafted free agents. Happy Draft Day, and thank you all for reading and listening. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Alex Kazora every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.